Okay, trauma team, 46-year-old gentleman fell from a roof, 15 sir? feet. Blood can pressure's 80 over 60, me? heart rate's 120. Not talking to me, guys. Let's go, coma scale. Let's go. Right. Right. We're going to need to get him intubated here. Check. Yeah, listen for breath sounds, please. Yeah, I've got some breath sounds, but still diminished on the left. Syringe, please. All right, got the needle in, Peter? All right, needle's in. Got your back? And I got air back. All right, what's the set? Our set's coming up. Yep, yeah, we're going up. Better. The heart rate's coming down. Great team. I think the simulation's over right now. Let's go debrief. Fletcher Allen Healthcare and University of Vermont Clinical Simulation Laboratory, or SimLab, is an interdisciplinary, state-of-the-art virtual hospital allowing medical and nursing students, physical therapy students, medical residents, physicians, nurses, community EMTs, and Vermont National Guard members to practice clinical procedures in a safe learning environment. The Clinical Simulation Lab opened up in 2011. It's a partnership between the University of Vermont College of Medicine, the University of Vermont College of Nursing and Health Sciences, and the Academic Medical Center, Fletcher Allen Healthcare. It truly is a unique collaboration between these organizations. Our goal is to be the premier location for healthcare professionals around our region to come and learn new clinical skills. Located on the second floor of UVM's Rowell Building, the 9,000 square foot facility is equipped with a number of features, including adult and child high fidelity mannequins. These lifelike simulators demonstrate appropriate physical responses to treatments. Uh, working with the mannequins in the sim lab is very lifelike. They can sweat, they can cry, they can talk. They have a real heartbeat, real lung sounds. When you perform CPR on them, there's a monitor to show you how well you're actually performing CPR. It continues to amaze me every time I use them, quite honestly. The Sim Lab also has six inpatient hospital rooms, each equipped with video cameras and audio recording for review and communication. A virtual reality lab for practicing surgical skills, A multi-purpose room that can function as a simulated operating room, emergency room, or intensive care unit. Two debriefing rooms. When the scenario is over, we go immediately to debriefing, and these moments truly belong to the students because they want to share their reactions, how they felt, and what they were thinking. So they combine prior learning with the learning from this new experience and create new knowledge. When they go back to the clinical setting, they bring that new knowledge and apply it to their nursing practice and their care of patients. Wow. And a professional skills and task training lab with body part models for learning how to perform procedures such as drawing blood, lumbar punctures, and the insertion of both central and IV lines. We can provide any type of patient at any time of the day or any day of the week or any kind of procedure or any kind of crisis or anything that a faculty would want to provide for a student at any time. We don't have to wait for that patient or that procedure to show up at the hospital. There's also an outpatient clinical simulation lab adjacent to the Rowell Building with 12 outpatient rooms for health care provider training. Unique to the Fletcher Allen Healthcare and University of Vermont Clinical Simulation Lab is the use of standardized patients in conjunction with the simulation technologies. The standardized patients are community members who have been specially trained to accurately portray specific roles or conditions. 
So some of the advantages of training in a sim lab environment are certainly getting a level of comfort with skills as well as with interacting with patients in a, in a way, in a manner which you might not be necessarily comfortable with on a day-to-day -day basis. It can give you the chance to talk to a patient who's upset, to counsel someone at the end of their life, to give bad news, and oftentimes for students that's a very stressful thing. So it's definitely benefited me and I think it's a very important part of your education and curriculum. One of the big advantages of working with standardized patients is that the students get to practice their skills on us before they do it with a real patient and we're able to provide feedback for them. It's a safe environment for them to practice things, to try things out, to make mistakes. We'd much rather have them do that here in the clinical simulation lab than out in the real world. People get anxious, they definitely get into the simulation, um, they get jittery, um, they have adrenaline just like you would have in a real situation, but they have the benefit of saying, wait a minute, I need a minute to stop and think and make a decision. Um, and you don't always feel like you have that opportunity in a real situation, you have to always be ready to react. From my experience, my training through simulation as a, a physician in training and as an attending, I actually feel like I'm more competent with the simulation training that I obtained. The Sim Lab provides opportunities to work in collaborations that parallel real life medical care. What makes simulation learning unique is that healthcare professionals from the different disciplines can come together and work and participate together just as they would in the real world. So the communication and collaboration is improved, um, the understanding between um, the perspectives of a doctor versus a nurse on patient care. So nurses may have a different priority than doctors may have and to be able to understand each other's priorities makes a huge difference. So I work a lot with new nurses and nurses coming into Fletcher Allen. So simulation offers us a chance to show them what Fletcher Allen is about, some of our protocols, how we go through some of our procedures. The recent nationwide focus on reducing medical errors has brought renewed attention to simulation as a way to improve physician skills and patient safety. So one of the benefits of simulation is the concept of deliberate practice because we can take the mannequin through the paces over and over and over again. So you can practice, get it wrong, go back, do it again, do it again until you get it right. Because it's when you make mistakes and when you think about what it is that you did is where the learning takes place. There's actually good evidence um, supporting the fact that um, you can transfer the information that the students are learning in the sim lab and that transfers the clinical care. The Clinical Simulation Lab has had a dramatic impact in patient safety in the area of central line uh, placement training. Through a standardized method of training, we've been able to see a dramatic reduction in the number of central line related infections in the hospital. Besides providing training for Fletcher Allen Healthcare, the University of Vermont College of Medicine, and the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, the Simulation Lab is also a resource for the Vermont healthcare community. So the EMT training at the Sim Lab is dynamic. It um, provides clinical evaluation of all types of patients, um, both pediatric and adult medical and trauma. Simulation technology really is the way of the future in not only EMS education but all medical education. Um, it allows us to take what we learn in the classroom and apply it clinically in a more realistic setting. We um, have had inquiries from other nurse educators at outlying hospitals who really want to use our technology to help train their nurses because really what it's all about is patient care and patient safety. The Clinical Simulation Laboratory is benefiting health professionals of all levels and the patients they serve. The community should support the Sim Lab because of the enhancements it brings to our capabilities for training emergency service personnel. Anybody in the community may need these people, and when they do need them and they do respond, they want them to be the best that they could be. The Clinical Simulation Lab makes me a better nurse.
Makes me a better EMT. Makes me a better physician. It improves the quality and safety of care of our patients. That is what the Clinical Simulation Laboratory is all about. For more information on the Clinical Simulation Laboratory or how you can support it, please contact us. 